Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, this Carly Russell story, it just grows and grows. And it's not going away anytime soon. Uh, now, a police in Hoover, Alabama say they are having trouble verifying the story of a nursing student who claimed she was abducted on last week. Yeah, if you've been under a rock, yeah, Carly Russell uh, said she saw a toddler walking across an Alabama highway when she stopped to help the the uh, toddler and she called 911. Now at about the same time she said she was kidnapped by a man in the woods. Now police in Hoover are still investigating what happened in those 49 hours uh, that Carly went missing. Now there is however a growing frustration for some people in the Alabama community who spent days searching for the 25 year old nursing student who vanished last week and she and her family are refusing to cooperate and talk with the police. The police wants to reinvest that they're investigating this story there's a lot of holes in this story and uh, they want her to come in so that they can talk to her and her family and her has refused to come and talk to um, the uh, police now some who search for Russell they feel that they were misled and they wasted their time now, her disappearance prompted a multi-state search involving law enforcement, friends, family members, and strangers. Now, police are casting doubt on her claim that she ever was kidnapped. Now, authorities have gone so far as to say they have no evidence that the child Russell called about and her 911 call actually existed. Um, because um, this is a big, heavily dr dr driven um, interstate. And if there was a toddler and how many yards she said that she followed this toddler uh, was equivalent to six football fields. So you can imagine how long this toddler, uh, if there was a toddler, were walking someone other than her would have stopped and would have called 911 to to see about this talk yeah yeah now one of the people who was searching for Carly uh, she spoke to the press and she had this to say she said at first I was hopeful but later on I became very disappointed because everybody came together for a good cause and the community worked together to find Carly now her name is Jessica Burgeon of Birmingham she said and now that the facts have come out and Facebook speculation it seems that it is not truthful at all and so it's just a great disappointment now in addition to disappointment there is also confusion in the community now there's a lot of questions going on in everybody's head and this one resident Victor Jones says he said to have people praying about certain situations and find out that's not what they were praying for now, the people who live near this Hoover community remains great for Russell is home safe, but they are confused. You know, they're wondering, okay, now all of this has been verified by the police. Uh, police have uh, stated significant um, phone about what she was searching on her phone and uh, they don't understand why Carly and her family is not cooperating with the police now. You know, even if she was, quote, abducted, you know, they're saying that the family should be talking to the police. They should be wanting to find these culprits who kidnapped her, if it was a kidnapping after all. Mm. And despite police reaching out for Russell and her family, they have declined uh, to talk with them and to get these questions answered. Now, uh, if you've been under a rock and uh, don't uh, remember, this happened uh, last Thursday. Uh, she went missing. Uh, she came back on 
two days after she went missing that Saturday saying that she fought and uh, she got away from her abductors and uh, they found out on her on her phone well they found out the day that she went missing she was quote abducted that she had stolen from her employer uh, she got fired uh, she failed out of nursing school and uh, allegedly she had been on drugs mm, so she concocted this is the alleged theory that she uh, concocted this abduction story and was going to run away which uh, she figured that um, mm, after she saw all the publicity and all the media this wasn't going to work and she came back home Mm, now that is the alleged story mm -hmm. but one thing the things that we know are true that the police have brought out is that she did steal from her employer that day um, there wasn't any calls for a toddler uh, on the um, interstate and that they did find on her phone the searches uh, for um uh, Taken, which is a movie about a woman being abducted, and uh, uh, it's a, a, a things about an Amber Alert. Is there a charge for an Amber Alert, and uh, how to steal money from a cash register, and uh, not get caught, <laughs> and a lot of other searches that the police said that he hadn't came out with to protect her privacy but if she doesn't uh, talk with them they're gonna uh, devour those uh, other searches that were on her phone so you know if it was my child and she did a stunt like this oh yeah I would make her little ass cold and have a press conference with the media and say hey I effed up I'm sorry uh, I didn't know what I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking clearly. And da da da, that's it. No, I wouldn't condone her. I wouldn't condone her hiding her from the public. Oh no. And plus, she need a good ass whooping. <laughs> yes, Miss E said it. She need a good ass whooping. I'll be down. <laughs> what y'all think, guys? I'm going to leave it up to you. Press some comment buttons I want to hear. But uh, to take this lightly, no. Because we all know that when people of color become missing, it's not uh, taken seriously. Uh, people uh, don't search uh, for people of color like they do uh, our uh, white sister and brothers. And now, for her to pull a stunt like this, mm, that's not good, y'all. Mm -mm. Well, what do y'all think? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always important, be blessed, y'all.